Here we have a cheap electric corded hedge cutter to fix. This one, I think it's from Little or Aldi. And the issue is that it doesn't turn on. Every now and again, it'll give it a short burst. So most likely due to the age of it, it's uh, carbon rushes have worn out. So we're gonna open it up and take a quick look. Brushes are here at the top of the motor, so we're going to loosen them off. And we can see straight away that they don't stick out very far when you pull them out, and they look quite burnt, so they're definitely worn. tab here and we can remove the spade connector and there's our brush definitely worn. To order new brushes you can use the model number of the hedge cutter but a cheaper way of doing it is to measure the brush itself. This one is 9 by 9 by 6 and I would guess that it's 12, 13, 14 millimeters long. The top part here is a little bit out of the ordinary, but I'd say with a bit of looking online, you would find that brush for a couple of euro or a couple of pounds. I have a set of universal ones here, so we're gonna have a look through it and find a similar enough one to use. So we've selected a set of brushes that are close enough to correct. The carbon brush itself is the correct size. It slides nicely inside the holder. However, the spring is a little bit large. So what we're going to do is borrow the springs from the original brushes. I'm going to wind the, these ones off and put on the original ones, which are a little bit thinner to fit inside the holders. And we'll have to modify the end caps as well very slightly. So we've swapped over our springs from the original brushes and the end cap we've just used the pliers to fold over the tabs a little bit so that it now fits inside properly. So they're ready to put back in. So with the new brushes in now and everything tightened back up. It's ready for work again.